All right, day one, uh, Raton, New Mexico, the Whittington Center. We have arrived, uh, long journey, coming from a couple states, Wyoming and Utah. This is our fourth year we've done this event, and it gets a little bigger, a little funner each year. Uh, good group of guys, 14 people, two classes this year, back to back, 14 guys each. So it's gonna be a busy week down here in Raton, down at the Whittington Center. Uh, we got set up to do this morning, guys are in class, we'll be shooting for two days, and then off to chase antelope for a couple days. So. Weather permitting, looks like it's gonna be an awesome event. Um, we're running about four different ranges here. We've got a close 300 yard range. We've got some at five, eight, and then just at about a thousand yards. So we've got seven targets set up at each distance. We'll have shooter spotter pairs, just like we do in our traditional long range university back in Cody. So we'll do a day worth of shooting off the bench and we'll do a day off of prone and situational shooting. So uh, as range guys, we're gonna check the steel and shoot the guns a little bit this morning, make sure nothing got rattled too hard coming down I-25, but uh, we'll get these ready to go for the guys to shoot here in a couple hours. So first day classroom was uh, a lot of basics, you know, that was kind of really good for getting people understanding um, the fundamentals of, of long range and ballistics and, and what was gonna happen to that bullet down range. Obviously we moved into a little bit of shooting, hitting some steel, uh, and that was kind of a you know really you know awesome thing to be able to take the mathematics that we learned in the first day and actually put it down range and actually put put it on steel. The classroom most definitely helped out on the range. Uh, at the 500 yard, you know, it was uh, with these guns, it's pretty amazing. When we moved out to a thousand, you know, taking everything you learned in the class definitely brought you back into the bullseye. It's it's amazing how you can go from not knowing hardly anything to uh, two days in a classroom and be able to shoot 1,250 yards. Classroom, you know, I, I thought I'd been shooting a rifle for a long time. I kind of had knew all the ins and outs and, the, and all the details, but I learned quite a bit from James. He's uh, extremely knowledgeable and one of those guys that you know, it's, it's not, uh, he's making it up. He, he knows because he's done it. You know, this whole shooting thing is, is really about the correct information. Of course, the correct gear, but once you get past the correct gear, it's really, you know, from everything that I've seen about really about information and cohesive information that's actually applicable. And this really gives you a very applicable, easy to understand package to put all that together, go out and shoot, and really, you know, hit your target. My wife outshot me. <laughs> She's a first time shooter, actually. This is her first time actually shooting, so it's pretty impressive. Surprisingly, I did pretty well from what people are telling me. It was an interesting first experience. It was my first time ever shooting a rifle. And luckily for me, I'm with a bunch of people who have shot rifles and had lots of experience. Um, so it made things a little more stressful when everyone's kind of speeding through the course. And I'm like still on the first one. And there's just a lot of things to remember, you know, like lining up the side and even being able to see through the scope was a challenge for me. But James was very supportive and my husband's here, so he just was very encouraging. Um, didn't help that it started raining and hailing and I didn't have the right clothes and started shivering, but had to try to keep everything steady. Well, we've wrapped day one. We had a, I opened my mouth this morning and said weather permitting, we were gonna have a good day. And we kind of got rained out there this afternoon. But that's what's fun about being down here in New Mexico. Uh, pretty area, great range, you get a little weather. Uh, we got a nice canopy set up, so we were able to stay out of it. This is usually how we gauge our fun. And uh, a few hundred rounds down range this afternoon makes for a good day. So get these guns put away, grab some dinner and do it all again tomorrow. So yesterday we did a combination level one and level two. Uh, students started off learning all about ballistics, external ballistics, a little bit of internal. Minute of angle and how everything works on a long range system. 
Uh, we were able to shoot out to a thousand yards yesterday twice and then we did a little bit of wind calling learning about Mirage. So they did real well even though we had a thunderstorm come in and uh, gave us a little bit of hail but they were still able to engage the targets at a thousand yards. Today's going to be internal ballistics and how certain bullets work. We're going to do ranging with reticle. Actually, uh, we're going to do ranging on targets with reticle, and they're going to learn how to do things manually. And then we're going to do uh, 1,000 yards again, prone shooting, field shooting positions. So they're going to have a lot of fun today. Six, 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 six. It's not going flat across. If you look above the target, it's an angle about like that. Let's call a minute, shot. minute yeah. and a half Square. right wind. So we're that was looking at this. We're just running Send it. three point three high. So let's point three Ready. High. Send it. Shooting here was a confidence builder, that's for certain. I would have never put a target out or, or, or ever considered shooting at an animal at 700 yards, 800 yards. And now I feel like if I have the equipment in order that those shots would be well within my ability. Send it. That was a hit. Look at this Yeah, it was hit low. But More than enough shooting time. I mean, uh, the way they've structured this is all ammo is included. So, you know, if you're not shooting enough, it's on you. Um, working with your partners, learning how to spot. You have plenty of instructors there. The, the 6.5 Creedmoor Suppress that they, they shoot with are very enjoyable and comfortable. Low recoil, low sounds. It's really conducive to training. Um, like I said, you have instructors right there, but you're also working with your partner how to, you know, how to use the range finders, how to read Mirage, how to call wind. Wind is the biggest thing. You know, it, everyone thinks it's kind of this little magical thing, but uh, James kind of, he breaks it down for you, simplifies it where it's not so overwhelming. I definitely recommend this, you know, guys watching on TV, if you're a novice or even, you know, a lifetime hunter, you know, you maybe messed around with shooting long range target a little bit, definitely come out. And then this two day course here at the Whittington Center is the way they'll do it. It's a beautiful facility here out in Rutan. You know, the cabins, everything's included. They take care of everything. You know, it's a crash course, but it's also very detailed you know, what you need to know. And you can employ it right here at the range, but then you can actually go out, put it in the field, and you have Gunworks people there with you. Uh, they had us the uh, <clears throat> first day of class, uh, starting out at 300 yard targets, and then going to 500, then 700, then 1,000. And uh, once you get proficient at each range, you, you step on up to the next yardage increment. And, uh, you know, within an hour, I was hitting targets out at 1,200 yards. I guess the number one thing I'm taking out of the classroom is how to dope the wind. Uh, it's very important. It ranges over 500 yards, and he had us shooting out to 1,200 yards with a 8 to 10 mile an hour crosswind uh, the first day of school. Our group is kind of a mix of guys who have done a lot of shooting and guys who have done not a lot of shooting, but and, and, and half those guys know a lot about rifles and ballistics and all those things. Other guys, you know, just kind of they pick up a gun and they go hunt with it, and that's it. So I definitely would think that anyone could get something out of this class, the classroom, and the practical knowledge of you know, shooting on the range. And then the biggest thing for us is now we get to go tomorrow and uh, hunt some pronghorn and, and you know, get after them at long range. Well, we've got the students today spending probably an hour and a half shooting these tip over targets. They're about 10 inches tall, 10 inches wide, and real representative of an antelope body. Uh, you know, we call them antelope, but pronghorn's what we're chasing. Those will only stand 40 inches tall to the top of their shoulders. 100 pound animal, maybe maybe a little more at times. So it's a small target. And if you guys and gals can get dialed in on these tip over targets, uh, we'll have all the confidence in the world following them out there chasing antelope tomorrow. So spending some time shooting uh, shooting some of these targets today. A tricky wind, it's quartering on us a little bit, but so far I see that thing laying over quite a bit. So pretty excited with how they're doing.
What are we doing? I'm looking for antelope when we found one actually. We're headed towards it right now. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. All right. Do it. That was one unlucky antelope running right at us. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, awesome. Did you hear that, skin, that high pot? You hear cracking up off here. Well, what do you think? It's awesome. You haven't hunted antelope before? Beautiful animal. No, I have not. It's my first one. Hit him. Hit! Hit! Got him. Boom, baby! That was a good shot. Uh -huh. That was a good shot. Got him. Good job, man. Finally. Good job. Good job. That's not great. Down. Still down. Not going nowhere. Let's go get him. No, so just a hair low. That's where I thought you got it right there. We missed this morning at about 670, but we finally got together here at 600 yards. One shot. Put him down. He's here. It's a nice goat. It's a good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Shot, dropped him. Yeah. Perfect shot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was my worst shot so far today. What are you because talking about? I, I was shit through grass, <laughs> and I get it. I would have given our odds of all of us stalking in and shooting one. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Like, what do we got? Like eight guys here. I think hey, drinks are on Murph tonight. Really it's Murphy's <laughs> law, you know. You do everything wrong, and it goes right. <laughs> 
Murphy McHugh, nice shot. Yes, sir. Said if you could hang a ring on it, you count it for a point on a beer. So I can hang a ring on this. You sure can. So it'll be a three by two. Well, Murph, we uh, we just wrapped up four days down here in New Mexico. You were the final goat of the of the trip, and it was a good one. Murphy's law prevailed again. I was last, but we got one, a good one. Very cool. It was a great gun works gun. That 284 did it. Good, good. What'd you think about the class in a couple days oh, down? Oh man, it was the first time I stayed awake for two days in a class since I've been 21. No kidding. You know, I, I stayed awake and I was alert the whole time. That's the first time I ever liked a teacher or tipped a teacher too. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Well, good. James does a good job for us. You know, we bring these great. students down every year to uh, the Whittington Center in New Mexico. This year we had two classes back to back. A couple days of some long days of training, you know, shooting off the bench, shooting prone, some situational stuff. Luckily, we had some conditions and some elements. We had some rains and some nasty wind. We had to shoot in those smaller tip over targets yeah. to try and get you ready I've for this. I've already sent about five emails out to my hunting buddies and said, you got to come to this class. Yes. You have to. And if I could, I'm just like I told my wife after the first night. I said, I wish I'd have this something like this 15 years ago. Very cool. You know, it would have made me a whole lot bigger shot and hunter and everything. Very great. Cool. Cool. I think it's a good. it's a good validation of some some education to come out and chase these animals after a couple days. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, they you know they put the slip on us a few times this morning, but all is well that ends yeah. well. We've yeah. got to go locate a GoPro, and if we do that, it'll be a good night. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks Thank a lot, Murphy. Thanks, you guys. Congratulations. Yeah, for the invite, glad I could attend. Yeah. Likewise. Likewise. Uh, it's amazing how much information there is. I just, I, I had no idea really what to expect for the class, um, but the amount of information um, has just been huge. And, you know, there's just so many variables to hunting um, that you can actually try to control. And that's kind of what I'm learning is, is uh, you want to reduce, um, you know, uh, minimize your risk and and the class has kind of taught me how to do that you know by um, knowing how to sight in the rifle um, knowing how to gauge the wind which that's a that's been the biggest thing because I just never really uh, paid attention to that and it really makes a difference especially on a long-range shot uh, you know where the wind is coming from and how how the speed of the wind my father came out here last year and after hearing him say yeah he was hitting a target at a thousand yards um, and I came out this trip, I just didn't think that I would be doing it, or maybe I'll hit it every once in a while, but we were consistently, you know, we started in at 300 and then worked our way out to 500, 700, 1,000, and we were just consistently hitting the target um, all the way out to 1,000. So I, I, I feel really pleased about it. I, I really was concerned that it would be just a big math class and it would be like going through physics again, but it was, it was presented well and it was easy to understand. There wasn't anything we learned that was too hard to pick up. It's, it's definitely worth the money. Um, the people are great, the food's good, the venue's great. Um, and bottom line, you learn a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, there's people in our class that's taken this before and they're still coming back learning even more stuff. I, I think this is probably something that anybody that uh, is going to shoot further than 500 yards should really find one of these classes and this is a good one find one of these classes and go to the 